Okay, so use the trapezium here with ordinates at 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. So that when they give you the ordinates here, it tells you how to sort of draw the strips you draw um, from those particular points there. And I've done this now on my, so I've gone 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 on my graph. I've drawn lines up until they hit the curve, okay, when they hit the curve. And then I, I join them together to complete the trapezium. So turning it round, just like before, you can see clearly that this trapezium, for instance. Okay, so if we work out the area of each of these shapes, okay, treat them as trapeziums, okay, all four of them, then that will approximately then give us the area under the curve. Only approximately, because you can see here, there's a bit under the curve there that sort of hasn't been accounted for. But then, you know, it kind of... There's a bit here that's been over accounted for above the curve so it kind of will all balance out okay but it'll still be an estimate so if i call this one two three and four okay now um we still sort of treat this as a trapezium even though it's a triangle but you can use the formula so remember now the formula is um half a plus b it's on page two times h so for one it will be equal to half a is zero plus then b which is uh, let's be careful here i think it's 14 times then the height between them the gap between them here which is two so if you do that it comes out to be 14 area two half so it'll be 14 there and then that one then the length of that is 20 nine i think Let's double check that there yeah i think it's 29 times by two so we can check this on our calculator um and you get 43 when you work that out area three then so you've got 29 and then this one is 26 so you work that out it comes to 55 and an area four Um, so 26 as we saw and then the top one then is 30 okay so the answer for that will be 56 so we just need to add these up now to get our area and it comes to 168 so in part two then it says calculate an estimate for the distance the object traveled in the first eight minutes so now the distance, you need to remember this, right? In a velocity time graph, is simply the area under the curve. Okay? That's what it is when it comes to a velocity time graph. The, the, the area under it is the distance traveled. Now, we've already worked out the area, haven't we? On estimate, it's not perfect, as we said. So, it's simply going to equal to 168. Of course, we were measuring that in meters, weren't we? Okay, because that's what the units were, meters per minute. So the distance is in meters. We've got to give it in kilometers. So that's going to be less than a kilometer. So we're going to be 0 0.168 kilometers.